Number 9. Vaquitas Vaquitas are a species of porpoise that can be found in the northern part of the Gulf of California in Baja California, Mexico. Illegal fishing has pushed them closer and closer to extinction. In 2019, there were about 19 vaquitas left. Now, in 2021, it is estimated that less than 10 vaquitas remain. Since 2011, the entire population has declined by 98.6%. The vaquitas population has declined so much because they have been a casualty in the totoaba swim bladder trade. Mexican fishermen hunt totoabas using gill nets, which are essentially walls of netting that hang in the water, catching anything that crosses its path, including vaquitas. Once they are caught in the net, they drown. The totoaba swim bladders are sold mainly to China because of its use in Chinese medicine and is nicknamed the cocaine of the sea for the amount of money they are sold for. On the black market, one kilogram of these bladders can be priced at up to 46,000 USD. Although the Mexican government banned gillnet fishing, the law has been difficult to enforce, and vaquitas continue to become more endangered. Number 8. Hawksbill Turtle out of all the sea turtle species, the hawksbill turtle is the most critically endangered. They are found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Their global population is estimated to be around 8,000, with only a few populations that have around 1,000 nesting females. Over the past 100 years, their population has declined by 80%. While many factors play a part in their endangerment, such as habitat loss, bycatch, and pollution, wildlife trade is the number one threat they face. They are specifically targeted for their gorgeous marble pattern of amber, brown, and yellow on their shells to make jewelry and other trinkets. Their eggs are also considered to be a delicacy, so humans will search for their nests to steal them. Hawksbill turtles are also hunted for their meat. As horrible as that is, the good news is that there are several organizations that are fighting to try to save them, such as the Wildlife Tracking Alliance, Plastic Oceans International, and the Sea Turtle Conservancy. Number 7. Blue Whale While it holds the title for being the largest animal on the planet, it is one of the most endangered animals too. They can be found in oceans around the world, with the exception of the Arctic. In the first half of the 20th century, whalers hunted blue whales almost to extinction. Around 340,000 blue whales were killed during that time. In the mid-1900s, the International Whaling Commission made whaling illegal due to the rapid decline of the whale population. However, that didn't fully protect them. Despite the illegality of whaling, there were still illegal poachers hunting them. Today, around a thousand blue whales are still hunted annually for the purpose of selling their meat. Other parts of their body, like blubber, cartilage, and oil, are used in commercial products. While the poachers still do exist and are a threat to them, the main threats blue whales face nowadays are getting caught in fishing equipment, ship collisions, climate change, and pollution. There is estimated to be only around 25,000 blue whales left in the world today. Number 6. Hawaiian Monk Seal Found on the island of Hawaii, you can catch this seal sunbathing on the beach or enjoying a dip in the water. It has been considered an endangered species since the year 1976. With no more than 1,400 of them left in the world, they are one of the rarest marine animals. While they do get entangled in fishing nets, other threats include plastic pollution, disease, and attacks by predators, such as sharks or humans. One of the biggest threats they face is the coastal development of the Hawaiian Islands mainly due to tourism. The Hawaiian Monk Seal Preservation Ohana, or HMSPO, is a volunteer organization that has provided education to Hawaii's communities about monk seals, as well as helped care for, protect, and provide for the needs of Hawaiian monk seals over the 10 years. Number 5. Galapagos Penguin Found in the Galapagos Islands, they are the only penguins to be found that far north. There is estimated to only be between 3 to 8,000 Galapagos penguins left in the world, and only around 800 breeding pairs. Around 2,000 of them are in the wild. They have been listed as endangered since the year 2000. 
The main threat these penguins face is climate change. When weather events like El Nino happen, water temperatures rise and food sources dwindle. These changes in weather are happening more frequently now due to climate change. Many penguins can't find enough food, and as a result, they stop breeding and even abandon their babies. Conservation efforts by Galapagos Conservancy has been helping maintain and slowly increase their population. They build 120 shaded nesting sites to promote breeding. In 2017 and 2018, researchers monitored the effectiveness of these nesting sites and concluded that it was a successful breeding season. About a quarter of these penguins' breeding activity has been by using the constructed nesting sites, indicating a brighter future for the population of the Galapagos penguin. Number 4. Whale Shark Holding the title for the largest fish and largest shark in the ocean, they can grow to 60 feet long and weigh up to 42,000 pounds. They live in tropical warm waters around the world. Despite being labeled as a shark, they are actually incredibly gentle and friendly. In 2016, whale sharks were labeled as endangered and on the International Union of Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species. The main cause of their endangerment is illegal poaching and commercial fishing. China has a large demand for the whale shark's meat, fins, and oil. They even use their skin to make bags, and shark fins in general are considered a high-demand luxury in different parts of Asia. Since whale sharks are quite large, they are targeted for their fins, since they are larger and more valuable. Finning is the horrible and cruel practice of capturing the whale shark and removing its fins live, only to then be left to die in the water. Researchers are unable to pinpoint an exact current population of whale sharks, but the fact that there are such few sightings of them nowadays is not a good sign. There was, however, around 458 different whale sharks that were seen and separately identified in the water of the Philippines. Number 3. North Atlantic Right Whale This whale can be found in the waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. They can reach up to 45 feet long and 150,000 pounds. Despite being incredibly friendly towards humans, these slow-swimming, gentle creatures have been the number one whale that suffered the most damage from whaling. Today, there are less than 400 of them that still exist. Their endangered status started in the days of whaling, but nowadays their biggest threats are entanglement in fishing gear and colliding with vessels. In fact, about 58% of their deaths nowadays are due to being tangled up in fishing equipment. Scientists speculate that if things don't change, there is a big possibility that they could become extinct within the next 20 years. There is a big effort in Canada to protect these creatures. Organizations such as the Canadian Whale Institute, Marine Animal Response Society, and the Canadian Wildfire Federation go out on rescue missions to detangle whales trapped in fishing nets and to nurse injured whales back to health. Number 2. Hector's Dolphin Hector's dolphins are found in the water off the coast of New Zealand. They got their name from Sir James Hector the curator of the Colonial Museum in Wellington, when he examined the first one to ever be found. They are the smallest dolphin species and have black markings on their face. There are two subspecies of this dolphin, the South Island Hector's Dolphin and the North Island Maui's Dolphin. They live relatively close to the shore, and their numbers are heavily impacted by human activity. They are the unintended targets of gillnet fishing and pollution. There are only around 8,000 of them left in general, but only 55 Maui dolphins remain. To put this into perspective, in the 1970s, their population was around 30,000. To try to combat this, New Zealand banned gillnet fishing within four miles of the coast and have created sanctuaries to help their numbers. In 1988, the Banks Peninsula Sanctuary was New Zealand's first sanctuary for marine mammals. In 2008, it was expanded and extends for 12 miles off the shore, where set netting is not allowed. Since the sanctuary start, their conservation efforts have been able to rehabilitate about a thousand hectares dolphins, but their population is still decreasing at a higher rate than it is being rehabilitated. Number 1. Humphead Wrasse Fish 
Referred to as a hump head for its very noticeable bulging forehead, this bright, colorful fish is found in reefs in the Central Pacific, Indo-Pacific, East Africa, and Red Sea. They can reach up to six feet long and have a big mouth and lips that snorkelers tend to admire. Their unique physical features make them a pleasure to swim with. Over the last 30 years, their population has decreased dramatically by 90%. They are considered a luxury gourmet food, primarily eaten in Asia. They are at risk for being spearfished and can even be subject to destructive fishing techniques like dynamite. They're also at risk for being captured for aquariums, and their habitat is slowly being lost due to human activity and rising sea temperatures due to climate change. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be on a rough ocean for a month to try to save these animals or donate half of your money? Let us know in the comment section below.